Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to graph a line, a new line that's going to be parallel to y equals negative 3 fifths x minus 3. That's going to go through the point 5, negative 1. And we're going to use our equation y equals mx plus b to find this new equation. So to help us with this, I'm just going to kind of graph this line so we can just kind of get an idea of what exactly we're trying to get. Because a lot of times this will get confusing with students. So what I say is, you know, if anything, draw the picture of the graph so we can kind of get an idea of what we're trying to do. So here I have a y-intercept of negative 3. And then my slope is going to be going down 3 over 5. So 1, 2, 3, and then over 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So I have a line that looks something like this. All right? It's not very exact. You can see here's the x-axis, here's the y-axis. But I'm just trying to get an idea of it because it doesn't look very straight at all, does it? All right. So we have something that's going to look something like that. I need to find a new equation that's going to go through the point 5, negative 1. So over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down negative 1. So I need to find a new line that's going to be parallel to the one I've drawn that goes through this point 5, comma, negative 1. So we already noticed that when we look at this, my y-intercept, my new value b is not the same as negative 3. This is going to have a new y-intercept. So when I graph, when I write this out, I say y equals mx plus b, right? I need to find a new equation that's going to be in this format. Well, I already know that the slope has to be the same as this slope, because if they're parallel lines, the rate of change of the line has to be exactly the same. So that's nice, because I don't really have to do much math to figure that one out. But my problem is, I don't know the value of b. The only thing I know about this line is that it has the exact same slope, a different y-intercept, and it goes through this point. So let's talk more about what does that point tell us. Well, that point we know we can label as an x and y coordinate, right? And that point lies on the line. Therefore, that point is, a, um, that point is going to make whatever your equation of your line, it's going to make it true when you have all the correct values. The only problem is we don't have the correct value for our y-intercept. So we need to figure this out. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in our x and our y value for this point into our equation to find the value of b. So I put a negative 1 in for y equals a, equals a negative 3 fifths times x, which is 5, plus b. All right, so I plug in my x and y coordinates into my x and y variables into my equation to now find my new y-intercept. So this becomes negative 1 equals negative 3 fifths times 5. That's really 5 over 1. It's just going to leave us with a negative 3 plus b. Now I use my inverse operations to solve for b. And therefore, I get or positive 2 equals b. So therefore, I now know that my y-intercept, my new y-intercept is actually at 2. So if I know the slope is negative 3 fifths and the y-intercept is 2, I can now write an equation for this. So my new equation on my line that's going to be parallel to the line y equals negative 3 fifths x minus 3 is going to be y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find an equation that is parallel to another line going through a point. Thanks.